ropes, and he goes down again. Skills of speed, you know, the eye. Way champion of the world. My goodness, this kid is patient. The he has extreme punching power, and he has Better be a uh, knocked out Joe Smith Jr. for the light heavyweight title. This guy's like an animal. He's with gals. He's the only world champion that's in boxing today that has a 100% knockout ratio for every fight he's ever been in. He's from Chechnya. This dude is terrifying. Terrifying, because Joe Smith Jr. is an animal. I mean, he's this big, power-punching light heavyweight, and better be a in two rounds. Better Biev is like 38. I think he's 38 or, or 37 or 38, something like that. But go Google uh, Arthur Better Biev. He's an animal. Most guys by that age that are professional box, he's 37. Most guys by that age are starting to slide a little bit physically. Skill wise, they can maintain. Dude, he's an animal. Animal. Joe Smith Jr. is a dangerous guy. He's this big power punching guy. And this Arthur Bitter B of just f him up, man. But it's interesting how he did it. Like Joe's like real aggressive and powerful and he just caught him coming in. His hand speed, the the technique of his punches, like everything. And his strength, man. Dude, all those people from that part of the world, those are some stoutkin people. It's weird. Yeah, and this guy is uh, Hamza Chmaev. He's another guy from from Chechnya, and he's uh, an elite guy in the UFC. Like there it is, they stopped the fight there. Wow! And this guy does Shit. that to everybody. Everybody he's fought. Does Does he know a special place to hit the head? Because it looks like he hit him in the back of the head. Maybe no, he has like a secret. No, no, no. He hit him on the temple. <laughs> Brian's using kung fu. <laughs> no, it's not kung yeah, maybe fu, it's bro. right there is what I was like. No. <laughs> He's, he's the uppercut right there. Yeah, yeah that was the, the uppercut that really did it in. But it's like everything. He, I mean, it's every punch that he throws is dangerous. He's an interesting guy because, like, he's a power-punching boxer. Like, his boxing skill is excellent, but he's such a power puncher. He's the most exciting guy uh, in that division right now. He's really uh, very, very interesting. And then there's that Bivol guy who just beat Canelo. Did you see that fight? Mm -hmm. Same division. Yeah. Whoo, two Russians. You know, it's a uh, well Chechnya and Russia. Those are hard ass people, man. Fight fans, welcome back to Luxury Tainments. Adam Smith steps into the ring to challenge the ferocious Artur Bitterbeef for the unified light heavyweight world titles. This clash of titans will take place in the heart of Quebec City, Canada, where Smith, the WBC 175 pounder, number one, will face off against the knockout specialist Bitterbeef, who holds the WBC, IBF, and WBO championships. Beef, renowned for his devastating power and a flawless 100% knockout ratio, oozes confidence as he prepares to defend his titles on his home turf. Quebec is my second home and I'm thrilled to showcase my skills in front of my loyal fans, proclaims the champion. With three prestigious belts on the line, B2B vows not only to retain his championships, but also to deliver a jaw-dropping spectacle come August the 19th. Undeterred by the formidable reputation of his opponent, Smith, a former WBA super middleweight titleist, is determined to etch his name in boxing history as a two-weight world champion. Having already proven his reign by conquering the super middleweight division, Smith sets his sights on the light heavyweight throne. 
Fearlessly, he ventures into enemy territory, unfazed by the prospect of battling Beetle Beef in his backyard. Smith boldly asserts, I fought on foreign soil multiple times before, and Canada is no exception. I will return to Liverpool as a world champion once again. Smith's journey to this defining moment has been nothing short of remarkable, rising to prominence with a stunning knockout victory over George Groves in 2018. He claimed the WBA Championship and emerged triumphant in the World Boxing Super Series. Although Smith faced a setback when he lost his title in a unification clash against Mexican superstar Canelo Alvarez, he displayed unwavering resolve by transitioning to the light heavyweight division. Impressively, he notched two dominant knockout wins, the most recent against Matthew Bordelik. However, standing across the ring is Arthur Beterbeev, a force to be reckoned with. The Montreal-based puncher has left a trail of devastation in his wake, halting every professional opponent he has faced. With an illustrious amateur career, including two Olympic appearances and an amateur world championship, Beterbeev has firmly established himself as a formidable presence in the boxing world since claiming the vacant IBF title in 2017 by defeating Enrico Coling. He has successfully defended his world titles on seven occasions, including a thrilling battle against Britain's Callum Johnson, a former gym mate of Smith. This highly anticipated matchup between two knockout specialists has captivated fans around the world. Top-ranked President Todd Dubuff describes the spectacle as bombs away, highlighting the explosive power possessed by both Peter Beef and Smith. This clash not only resonates with boxing enthusiasts but also promises to captivate sports fans at large. When two fighters with dynamites in their hands collide, the excitement reaches unparalleled heights, keeping spectators on the edge of their seats. Arthur Betabeev's rise includes resounding knockout victories over Alexander Gosdick, where he claimed the WBC strap in a thrilling 2019 showdown, and Joe Smith Jr., whom he dispatched in the second round to add the WBO title to his collection. Although he has only defended his titles once on Canadian soil, enduring a grueling battle against Marcus Brown, Peter Beef emerged victorious with a knife round technical knockout despite sustaining a terrible cut. His subsequent triumph over Anthony Yard in London's backyard further cemented his status as the sport's most fearsome puncher. This one is looking favourable for Arthur Betabeev, who we believe will be victorious in the earlier rounds and potentially by a knockout win in the fourth round. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, and share your thoughts on this upcoming fight. And have a fabulous day.
I have a plan. Stop him. This kid is patient, he has extreme punching power, and he has the entire time. You know, this guy is dangerous. Light heavyweight champion of the world, Artemis! It's the unified light heavyweight world championship. The only thing he's in the game for is to be a two-division world champion. He's got his position, he's mandatory, no one can take that away from him. He's got the power to do it. Him against Betsabev is a great shootout. I really believe he can win that fight.